do the, I've heard they do it to the belly button or underneath the breast, or how would that be done? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's four possible incisions for a breast augmentation. Let's start with the belly button. I won't do it. Belly the button? The belly button. The reason I won't do the belly How button low are is, they hanging? is because it's kind of a gimmick more than anything else. And the problem is, is the, one of the key things in doing a breast augmentation is creating a very precise pocket to put those implants into because it's that position of the pocket that controls where the implant sits. Mm-hmm. If you're going in through the belly button, you don't have much control over that. The way you're going to make the pocket is you basically pass a balloon up behind the breast okay. and blow up the balloon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, I've I like never to think heard of that. I am a better surgeon than any balloon on the planet. So <laughs> I can kick any balloon's butt any day doing a breast augmentation. And so I don't like the idea of giving up precision in the operation for trying to hide a scar in some sort of gimmicky way. So I won't do that one. The other thing is if you're thinking about silicone gel implants, the belly button's out. There's no way to pass the implant up through there. For most cases, the best way to go in with the incision is either going through the nipple, little se- little semicircular incision, or a little incision underneath the breast in the crease. Those give you the best control over making the best, most precise pocket and the best result in the long run. Thank okay. you so much, Clinton. Thanks, Clinton. Good luck. Number, um, to, number go to call in my office, by the way, 888-800-8300, and the website is rsplastic.com. All right.